So let's get that moved back without me breaking the screen too much and carry on. Hello and welcome back to Span TV. And today I want to kickstart a series of mini videos I'm going to be doing over the next few months about QNAP NAS. Now straight away I'm aware that up there is my desktop there from my QNAP there. It's a 253A and of course that is the Batman symbol because I am super cool people. But um, what I want to talk about today isn't just about apps because as you can see on the screen here there's lots of the apps that I use on this particular NAS. I have several but this is kind of I would not say it's my main NAS, but it's definitely one that I go back and forth to at least once a day. Now, there's everything here with the snapshots, file managers, download stations, and the synchronization between uh, third-party clouds, that sort of thing, and Plex Media Server. But, are you unaware that there's actually an unofficial app store? Everyone who's owned a QNAP, much like the people when you first got your first iPhone or Android, and you started scrolling through all the app center, you went in, like here in the app store, all completely for free, of course, and you went in and you started browsing all the apps that are available. Get rid of that pop-up. And you would be like, oh, I've never heard of that or I've not installed that before. And there are a lot of apps. I think there's about 140 or 150 apps in the app center with QNAP. But did you know there was a whole host of either um, third-party or unsupported apps that you can install? And I've mentioned that on the channel before, but moreover, did you know you can add another app store here at the top. A number of you have heard of it, but it's really surprising me just how many of you don't know about this. And what I'm gonna be talking about in the next few months is I'm gonna go and look at a lot of these third party or unsupported or indeed unofficial apps and let you know which are the ones you should be going for. Now, most of them will come into two different period, uh, fields. One, there will be internal NAS uh, applications that can be accessed over the network or over the internet. And the others will be HD station. These are applications that are accessible via the HDMI uh, port. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you today, if you've got a QNAP up and running, how to add um, the new uh, or the unofficial QNAP club store to your QNAP. Rather than installing apps one by one, downloading a QPKG and then uploading that QPKG as a manual install. This is a way just to add a new store so you only have to do it once. So, straight away, here we are in the app center. Let's come out of that. Now, again, your desktop probably looks not dissimilar to mine. Maybe you don't have a Batman symbol, but you go into the app center, as you see there, and once it's loaded up, there'll probably be a pop-up for most commonly used apps, as you saw on the screen. So we'll have that loading up there. And these are all the apps currently that I've either got installed, that need updates, or I've disabled temporarily because they're conflicting with other apps. Now, what you need to do is go up here to the top right. Now, you go to settings, and once that opens, make sure this box is ticked. It's very important that you have this box ticked. This allows you to install third-party applications, both via the App Center and via new stores that you add, or app repositories as you see here so you want to go onto that tab and click add this adds a new third party community to the store and you can add several it should be mentioned now <clears throat> in here this has got all the information really that you need and what we're going to do is firstly you have to give where the app center lives and it's here so that it should be down there in the comments for you to copy and paste but otherwise it's there on the screen for you in nice big letters and again, I can I can zoom in for you. Why not? In case you're reading this on the screen, a bit crazy, but let's give that a look. There you go. QNAP Club EU slash EN slash repo slash XML. Next, we want to put a name on it, so we're just going to call it um, QNAP Club, shall we? You know, very a bit unimaginative, but why not? And then we're going to click this store and have it added. Once that's done, we click close, and here we have. QNAP Club, and it really is as straightforward as that. And as I say, click on it, and in the coming weeks and indeed months, I will be looking at lots of these unofficial apps. So the first thing it's going to be doing is quickly refreshing the available apps, and straight away, you are going to find hundreds of new apps that you've either not heard of or are community supported. Now, if you go to a number of the um, stores out there, and you go to their official website, you can get descriptions, forum information, and of course, these are broken down by subcategories. Now, I will be focusing once again on HDMI enabled ones, such as a very popular one for me, MAME, so the arcade emulator, giving you the ability to install and play old retro arcade games. So we'll get that installed, shall we? 
also I'm going to be looking at the likes a uh, lot of community applications that is uh, you know for um, crowd support and indeed charity applications as well so if you've got any particular apps on the unofficial app center you want to see featured on the channel that you're aware of look at that WinRA finally or UNRA as they call it we're definitely going to pop that in um, in the coming weeks if you're thinking of any of these apps that you want to have a closer look at and see how, how good they are then by all means let me know in the comments but otherwise i'm going to wrap the video up now if you want to buy your first nas today do visit nasspan.com um, if you want to learn more about nas or sort of more wordy version of this do visit me at nascompares.com and finally if you've got a question why not send me a message via twitter at robbie on the tube thanks for watching